Thank you all for coming. My name is Aisha Driggers. I'm with the City of Columbia Office of Business Opportunities. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate National Small Business Week. This week serves as an opportunity to highlight our small business community and their efforts to, cre to create jobs, drive innovation, and increase competitiveness. Helping small businesses grow has been and continues to be one of our top priorities at the city. I also want to acknowledge um, all of our county officials, city officials that are in attendance today. So at this time, we'd like to get started with Carl Blackstone, President and CEO of the Columbia Chamber of Commerce. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Thank you all so much uh, for being here today, and, and it's an it's a honor for me to be here as we kick off Small Business Month. But uh, I really want to thank our county and our city uh, special guests, the partnerships that we have with both the Richland County and the City of Columbia Special. Uh, and we've got a lot of good friends that are here with us, especially uh, I want to thank Craft Axe and Knowledge Perk for hosting us today and, and providing great drinks, but also a great venue uh, for us in, in downtown Columbia. You know, we, the Columbia Chamber has been around since 1902. And we've been looking out for small businesses for 120 years. As we look at the growth that we've seen over the last 15 years in Columbia and the trajectory of what we've got going on for the next 10 to 15 years is unbelievable. But we've got great big businesses here, but if you really want to think about what drives this economy, it's the, sm the small business guy or gal. It's this family owned business here in the, in the Midlands of South Carolina that they're doing this because their family done it for years. Or there's just an entrepreneur that's trying to chart a new path for their family. If you think about small businesses across our state, 99% of all businesses in, in the state are small businesses. I mean, that is unbelievable. We, a lot of the big boys get the attention, but really the meat and potatoes and the, and the we call it the backbone of the economy is small businesses. And so we are appreciative of them and want to celebrate them. And one of the things that got us going was talking with our friends at TD Bank. And they were very interested in helping us create a small business champion program where TD sponsors a, a company to join the chamber for a year and we help those businesses and they receive a TD mentor and a diplomat at the chamber to help navigate all the opportunities available for them and so uh, we're really excited about kicking off this program as well and it's my honor to to introduce Mike Farmer who's a board member of the chamber but also regional vice president of TD to help us kick off this new program and talk a little bit about it. So if I could bring Mike Farmer to the stage, I appreciate it. Mike. Good morning. What a beautiful day in Columbia, South Carolina. As Carl said, I'm Mike Farmer. We're in trouble now. <laughs> uh, I do remember my name. So. <laughs> I'm Mike Farmer, Regional Vice President for TD here in the Midlands. This is Jessica Sofield who is helping me out. Thank you. Um, again, really excited to be here. The Chamber does so much for the community. Um, I, I routinely look at how we interact. There are a lot of different municipalities, groups in this area, and it's all about collaboration. And I, I applaud the Columbia Chamber and Carl and everyone here how well we collaborate because it's for the greater good we want to see this area this region grow and benefit and i really respect the work that carl and the chamber do there um, they directly help us with meeting contacts making contacts in the community and just really do it the right way i've got the fortunate opportunity to introduce five winners today who will be joining the chamber um, with the membership being paid by TD Bank. Really excited about that, and these are five great companies. And um, without further ado, let me announce the winners. First up is AI Nautics. Let's give them a round of applause. Next is Erica Dawkins Communications. Welcome to the chamber. The next is Midlands Mediation Center. Then we've got OTR Media Group. 
And last, but certainly not least, our Bettis Construction. Again, we feel fortunate to be part of this, to have you all join the chamber. And just like anything else, it's what you make of it. The chamber has so many opportunities, can help you in so many ways, and I just encourage you all, the, the new members, to really take advantage of everything the chamber has to offer. Um, part of that, you, you will get a mentor from the chamber, but also from TD Bank. Um, we are a thousand employees strong here in the Midlands and feel like we've got some good financial expertise we can bring to the table. So we look forward to working directly with, with the new members as well. Um, again, just thank you so much for allowing TD to be a part of this program. We couldn't be more excited. And with that, I'll turn it over to the Chamber Chairman, Mr. John Griggs. Gotta watch out for this wind, right? Both hands on the notes. Uh, good after, good morning, everybody. We've got a nice Chamber of Commerce day, as my friend Carl Blackstone says. Uh, again, I'm John Griggs with Synovus Bank, and I'm proud to be this year's chairperson uh, of the board for the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, congrats to these businesses again. Let's give them one more round of applause. Of applause. And thank you, Mike and TD, for this uh, for this for sponsoring this opportunity. What a great job. Uh, the Chamber hosts many uh, opportunities to celebrate and grow small businesses here in the Midlands. Uh, we have our Small Business Breakout, which I believe is every fourth Tuesday. Uh, we also have our partner engagements, which are every month, so I look forward to spending some time with the winners uh, at those events here in the coming months. We are thankful for the opportunity to work with the city and county to shine a spotlight on our small businesses. Just as Carl said, I think 99% of the businesses here in our community are small businesses, so excited to celebrate that here with you today. The Chamber has worked with the city to help develop a list of new business-friendly initiatives last year. Excited to see some of that stuff come to fruition. Uh, and now it is my great pleasure, speaking of the city, to introduce our mayor, Mayor Daniel Rickman, who's going to make a proclamation from the city today. Mr. Mayor. Well, first of all, thanks to everybody for being here and congratulations to everybody uh, who are the winner. I think it's also appropriate that we're standing in front of, of the acts bar here because we've been chopping away at the red tape over the last uh, year or so to really make it easier for small businesses to grow in our community. But uh, I will take this as we, we proclamate this week as Small Business Week. Um, I'm going to read this proclamation uh, on behalf of the entire city council uh, here in Columbia. For more than 50 years, the U.S. Small Business Administration has celebrated Small Business Week, which recognizes critical contributions of America's entrepreneurs and small businesses. And when Carl talks about and John and Mark talk about small businesses being the backbone. They are the backbone of our community because small businesses grow here, hire here, and give back here. And you can't replace that with any large business. And so we're very thankful for all the small businesses in our community. Small businesses are the heart of every city, preserving traditional values while providing new ideas, new jobs, increased sustainability. Small businesses represent a tradition of hardworking, dedicated individuals living the American dream to provide for their families, create job opportunities for their neighbors, and to make invaluable contributions in their community. I think that captures a small business more than any other thing that we could say today and, I, and how much it means to us as a city for small businesses to be part of our community and we'll continue to support y'all in every way we can. Small businesses are vibrant, vital segments of our economy and a huge economic force throughout the nation. Residents of our community and communities across the nation are being asked to support small businesses and merchants during Small Business Week throughout the year. I think a testimony for us in Columbia, South Carolina was during the pandemic. 
We saw people pouring out to go support small businesses in every way, going out to eat when they didn't need to get takeout. They could have eaten at home and saved them money, but rather spend that extra dollar to make sure they were supporting those restaurants and going to those small shops as soon as they opened back up and supporting them to make sure that they're going to be here in the long. I think it's a testimony to who we are as a community and it's really, if you're a small business person wanting to open a business and you're moving from another part of the country, Columbia, South Carolina is where you want to be. So with that, I, Daniel J. Rickman, the mayor of Columbia, South Carolina, along with my fellow council members, do hereby proclaim the week of April 30th through May 6th is Small Business Week. So can I have John Upton come up and join me? Sir, on behalf of the city, uh, I wanted to give you a proclamation as well, and I'm going to read this out and then I'll provide it to you. Craft Axe Throwing established in 2018 is an entertainment venue that offers tomahawk throwing and hosts social and corporate events. If you need to get out a little frustration, come on down. They will help you take care of that. Jonathan Upton, the regional manager for Craft Axe Throwing, has been successful in the growth of their location, providing a unique experience. Craft Axe Throwing is committed to being a hub for other businesses to create partnerships, networks within their multiple facilities across the state and country. Axe Throwing is committed to giving back to local communities by sporting, supporting organizations, raising awareness for important cause. Craft Axe Throwing strives to create memorable and fun experiences for their customers and staff. So the City of Columbia recognizes Craft Axe Throwing as our business spotlight honoree and congratulates you on. So on behalf of this, the entire city, all 139,000 people, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. You want to say something? Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't bring any paper up here. <laughs> Uh, so when I was first reached out by Susan from the chamber in the city, she said there was only be three or five people here. That is not the case. <laughs> I do want to say a quick thank you to the city, uh, to the mayor, uh, for all the sponsors and the members with the chamber for coming out here to support us today. We've been in operation now five years, um, and we could not have grown to where we are now without South Carolina support. Our locations are Greenville, Lexington, Columbia, Spartanburg, Rock Hill, which is our newest store, and Fort Mill. And again, uh, South Carolina is phenomenal in small business. Uh, you guys, and I'll also expand on the military support. I want to thank you, and if you want to thank my staff members who are also military veterans, uh, spouses. Um, South Carolina has a uh, has such a warm, welcoming feeling for a small business owner, for a regional manager. Um, that you know, we just couldn't do it without you. So thank you. John thought he needed a, a paper, but apparently you didn't, so you did a great job. <laughs> so on behalf of Richland County Council and our Chairman uh, Overture Walker, I appreciate the opportunity just to share a few remarks uh, in response to the celebration of Small Business Week. Richland County is pleased to collaborate with our strategic partners, many of you have heard from here, uh, but that also includes the Small Business Administration, the City of Columbia, as well as the Chamber of Commerce, and other agencies today to present and recognize May 1st through 5th as Small Business Week. This week, Richland County and the Office of Small Business Opportunity will participate in an array of events and trainings to aid the small business community. The county understands challenges of many of our small businesses, uh, and many of them have faced that throughout not only their inception, but also through this recent pandemic. And during that time, the county has provided many training opportunities and other services, including millions of dollars through grant funding to support our small businesses. Uh, and just for a brief moment, if you will bear with me, I'm gonna take a moment uh, to read a resolution that County Council will present to the Small Business Administration on tomorrow as a part of their County Council meeting. And it reads as the follows. 
a resolution recognizing Small Business Week, May 1st through 5th, 2023. Whereas Small Business Week is a time set aside to acknowledge our small businesses for the contributions they make to our community. And whereas small businesses are the core of every city maintaining traditional values while providing fresh ideas, new jobs, and increasing flexibility. And whereas small businesses are vibrant, vital segments of our economy and vast economic forces throughout the nation, and whereas small businesses fall into either part-time or full-time operations, but are almost exclusively run by self-employed entrepreneurs. And whereas small businesses represent a tradition of hardworking and dedicated individuals living the American dream to provide for their families and opportunities for their neighbors to make valuable contributions to the community, and where small businesses provide an incredible influence on the stability of our communities. And whereas the, uh, there are approximately 15,000 small businesses, many of them minority owned and operated throughout Richland County, employing between one and 49 people and whereas residents of our communities and communities across the nation are being asked to support small businesses during Small Business Week and throughout the year and whereas Richland County recognizes the value that small businesses bring to our community and salutes their remarkable contributions and now therefore be it resolved on behalf of Richland County Council that May 1st through 5th 2023 will be recognized officially tomorrow as Small Business Week from the Richland County Council. Council. Thank you. Thank you all. And I also want to acknowledge, I see we have our OBO staff and our economic development staff is here. So thank you again for your support. So thanks again for joining us today to kick off an exciting week of Small Business Week activities. Tomorrow we will have the proclamation read at City Council. And then on Friday we will have our 10th annual Small Business Week conference and the Medallion Conference Center at 7309 Garners Ferry Road beginning at 9 a.m. You can still register for that event at our website at obo.columbiasc.gov. Our theme this year is Building Bridges to New Opportunities and Innovation. And we look forward to continuing the celebration and all of the wonderful accomplishments of our small business community. And as we close, um, I welcome you to come inside of Craft Acts and enjoy pastries from O'Hare and coffee from Knowledge Perk. Thank you. Thank you.